It's 19 days to Shark Week, and you know what? These undersea suits are really hot when you're out of the water. Oh God, I'm so hot. On today's episode, a look back at 30 years of close encounters with sharks. And wait for it, puppies. Now quit thrashing around in the water. It's time for the Daily Bite. Good evening and welcome to our show, or good morning. I'm not exactly sure how the internet works, but I'm told that this show is constantly on. Like me! Lucky for us, it's time once again to look back at the past 30 years of Shark Week with a collection of Shark Week close calls. We know that sharks from Guadalupe travel to Surf Beach and vice versa. But what I want to know from Jimmy is, does he see the same sharks here year after year? The interesting thing, Brandon, is we see the same males return here year after year. What about the females? Female migration out here is every two years. Exactly like Surf Beach, huh? Yeah, just like other wildlife, highly migratory animals. They come back and their migratory patterns are very consistent, sometimes returning to the same spot on the same day. All right, get ready now. It's game on. Here we go. Guys, I'm deliberately leaving the bait on its nose. around this snout area, and as soon as I touch that area, it makes that jaw gape. You know, I'm glad that railing was there. If that railing wasn't there, you'd be toast. <laughs> well. And I'd be next. <laughs> I don't have a joke for this one because it just blew me away. Eli Martinez has the mysterious ability to communicate with sharks and get them to do whatever he wants them to do. Kind of like the way that when a guy comes on TV late at night and sells his incredibly comfortable pillows, I buy them. I own eight. I guess I did have a joke. <laughs> Taking a shark sip break now. <laughs> My entire life has been spent delving deeper and deeper into what makes sharks tick. And in this case, I want to see what it takes to make a shark stop dead. Tonic immobility is a defense mechanism found in many animals. It's induced in a shark when it's turned upside down. It leaves them helpless and vulnerable to attack. Now, I have, I have to be careful doing what I do. There's, there's no doubt that I have to be careful. Uh, these are large predators, and you know, if, if I make a mistake, uh, you know, it's game over. Eli must have total freedom of movement for the attempt. So this time, there is no chainmail. A hostile tiger shark comes for Eli. This gives Eli his best chance yet to attempt the technique on a large predator. proves that even tiger sharks can be turned tonic. Oh, 
Oh, hi everybody. I don't know about you, but one side effect of Shark Week is that looking at all these sharks puts me a little on edge. I feel like I just want to see a cute and cuddly creature for a second. If only I could look at a cute and cuddly little guy and a shark. What's that? I can? <laughs> You're gonna play it now? And end intro. just like that, another episode of The Daily Bite comes to a close. It's my sincere hope that you enjoyed yourself. We at The Daily Bite try to do the best we can to entertain you any way we can. And it's a true pr- Oh, it's quitting time. Blow that whistle. Gotta go. <laughs>